zoom in, focus. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, I kind of wanted to breathe a little bit more life into this because I have my written blog and that's fine and I love it, but I know most people these days don't want to read a blog, they want to listen or watch it, so I thought I would start documenting some of my medical school journey on here. And one particular bit of the journey that I do want to take you on is my application to FI1. <sighs> that sounds too real even saying it. Um, and hopefully getting a spot. Medicine is probably one of the only very few degrees that you can come out of and be guaranteed a job at the end of it, providing you pass finals and things. So I don't think it's a case of will I get a job, it's where and what job will I get. So I thought I'd do this video to kind of tell you what my ideas, concerns and expectations are. Um, and at the end I will see how well it is. So, Today is currently Friday the 11th of June and we have just found out that the UK FPO, which is the organisation that manages all our applications, has decided to bring forward the deadline for applications from kind of end of October, beginning of November to September and haven't communicated that properly, which doesn't really seem to be breaking the trend with the UK FPO. I only found out from uh, Ollie. <laughs> because I happened to bump into him at hospital the other day and I had to go research it for myself and yes September is my deadline which conveniently is right on top of my mock oskies and coming back off my two week break so it doesn't look like I'm gonna get any sort of break this year but we persist and we carry on despite that bombshell landing on us what do I want <sighs> where do I want to be on the first Wednesday of August next year and this is something that I have been considering a lot, especially from kind of February this year when I realised that I was in third year now and this was coming up. And I think I've sort of made my final decisions and I suppose I'll tell you now. So I do want to try for an academic foundation programme and this is a programme where instead of doing six rotations in clinics, like clinical settings, you do five rotations in clinical setting and then a rotation out in academics or whatever you're going for. I really want to go for med ed and this is because I have discovered I really love teaching. Um, the thought of standing in front of a lecture theatre doesn't scare me, it doesn't terrify me but it excites me and I want to run with that. That's obviously a passion of mine. <laughs> And I want to start, I have kind of three main areas that I'd like to go more into and that's teaching neuro, looking at how we can use social media in medical education and finally is supporting disabled medical students through their education, particularly from the neurodivergent uh, autism spectrum disorder kind, which is what I am, so I'm a little bit biased there, but hey. <laughs> I do need to do a little bit more research into the specifics of it, but for now I know I want to apply to the MedEd programme at King's College London, just because, mainly because of location, uh, so I live in Kent and it'd be 45 minutes on the train home, which I think is the closest I've ever been to home when I've been studying at university. Uh, so, and King's College London has kind of followed me through my journey, uh, I applied to them for undergraduate for neuroscience which they rejected me from but then I also applied to them for medicine and I rejected them so we're kind of one all at the moment <laughs> and I know I really want to apply here it's a fantastic university the two hospitals it's linked to guys and St Thomas's are just world leading and it also kind of be a nice sort of circle to come back to the hospital where I did my first ever medical work experience. There are some more academic reasons why uh, but again I want to kind of keep something back from my application. So that's the one AFP programme I'm going to apply to. What's more of a priority for me with my foundation application is being close to home. I don't want to be hours away from my support network and my family anymore and I am a home bird and I've spent nearly seven years now over an hour away from my family. I want to be back at home. <laughs> so I'm going to apply to South Thames for a foundation programme and this is just your normal book standard six rotations but we have to complete 
in more than just, oh, I want to go to South Thames. So I think my decisions will be South Thames, number one, West Midlands, number two, which is where I am at the moment, Wales, number three, because I have one of my best friends lives there, <laughs> and they've got amazing perks, and I just, yeah. And it's by the beach, so that that's another thing. And then I'm not really sure what my lower down options. Uh, I did play around with Guernsey and uh, Wessex for a while because I thought practicing out in Guernsey might be quite cool. That's sort of where I am. I really want to be by the coast. <laughs> I want to be within an hour's drive of the beach, which I'm not here, and I feel really landlocked and I hate it. Uh, I want to be near family so I can go home, I can have my pets and things. I'm pretty sure they will drive me mad within the first six months of living there. Uh, yeah, and there's also a new medical school which has opened up in Kent, which is the Kent and Medway Medical School, so I'd be really, really enthusiastic and excited and probably annoying them to get involved with the medical education there. So I hope to work, if I get my first choice for AFP then I'll be working in Guys and St Thomas's. If I get my first choice for FP, then I hope to work in Endowment Valley and Medway Hospitals just because they're near me, they're hospitals I'm familiar with. One thing that has been brought up quite a lot of times is you're on the spectrum, should you really be making this dramatic change? Should you be really, really hanging around here where you know the doctors, you know the hospitals, etc. And I'm like, yes, the logic's there for that. However, I don't have a support network around here, and that sounds really bad because I do have some lovely friends, but I don't have the solid foundation that I do. And especially when we come into foundation uh, FY1, when everyone goes cross country, it's I think my network will decrease even further. It's my mini update, and I suppose I'll be updating you soon with a little bit more information on what I'm gonna do. So, FY1 application, here we come. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video, bye.